afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, I know I said I was going to do the Cruise Master in the last video. This bad boy come in, couldn't believe the price, the equipment, the condition, and what it is for this price. So I said, I am shooting this one first. Literally just come in, hadn't even cut the motor off from where they drove it in. This is a 2004 Winnebago Brave Model 36M. It is a 35 feet, 11 inch long, Class A motor home. It's built on a workhorse chassis. It's got the 8.1 liter Vortec V8, 25,000 actual miles on it. Guys, this unit's got two big slides, fiberglass roof, washer and dryer combination, Corian countertops loaded for 29.9. You're probably not going to find a deal like this anywhere in the country, at, at, especially at an RV dealership. But yes, here it is. And guys, I've been through this thing already. The refrigerator's getting cold. Both roof airs are cold. Generator fires right up. It's running right now. This is a nice motorhome. 340 horsepower, 457 pound-feet of torque. Uh, the 8.1 liter is the most powerful gas engine available in 2004. 5,500 on-end generator with 820 hours on it that fires right up. Ran both airs with no problem. Running right now. Of course, Winnebago's got a one-piece seamless fiberglass roof. Uh, Winnebago builds their own frames in the house. You know, they were the first RV manufacturer um, to actually build their own frames in the house. So you, the benefit of that is uh, Winnebago, the frame is built just for a 2004 Winnebago Brave 36M. They're not buying, they didn't buy aftermarket frames from Lippert or whoever and uh, bought the same frame that's on a 36 foot Fleetwood Bounder or Murata or or four winds infinity or whatever like like other brands do these frames and i thought about everything from the chassis up the floor the ceiling the frame for the floors ceilings and walls are all aluminum with with steel in critical areas and all uh, custom built for this motorhome so you get a better fit and finish less sway and less squeaks and rattles going down the road because of that Generators purring like a kitten. Back corners aren't beat up. I mean, this thing's in amazing condition for an 18-year-old motorhome. I'll even throw in the green bungee cord for you. Hitch on the back, 5,000 pound tow capacity. Got a little bit of, little, needs a little touch em up paint right there, but that's no big deal, guys. Again, it's 18 years old. And I'm actually selling it for thousands under NADA if you want to look it up. I'm not going to bother looking it up and putting it on the screen. Well, this thing's going to sell for this price probably by this time tomorrow, if not sooner. So you ever want to see here today, gone tomorrow, this is a good candidate for it. Driver's side door, which not the easiest thing. I know a lot of people feel like they have to have these, but these are not the easiest thing to get in and out of. Even back when I was younger and skinnier and I was transporting these things, I very rarely used those doors except for, uh, you know, which never had to have use it for that, but it's more or less like an emergency escape hatch for me than uh, something I want to get in and out and use every day while I'm driving or while I'm going somewhere. Windshields look great, hadn't even got a price on it yet. Slide toppers, got a patio awning. Outside of this thing's incredible condition. No delamination. Okay, this is just one of those deals for 29.9. It's gonna be hard to beat. Really is. You can see the corners over here look good. 29.9 for this self-contained, beautiful Class A. I mean, look here, guys, just for an example. Here's a late model travel trailer for $27.9. What would you rather have? This for $27.9 and you gotta have a truck? Or this for $29.9, fully self-contained generator, washer and dryer stuff that this one doesn't have. The travel trailer doesn't have. I mean, you put them side by side, which one's a better buy for the money? 
Not that I'm knocking that Catalina down any, but if you don't already have a vehicle and you got to buy a truck to tow a good sized camper, why not just skip the truck and buy the motorhome? So let's look inside. Steps work great. Now we haven't cleaned it yet. Like I said, the motors, I never even cut the motor off from where they drove it in. I went ahead and put the rooms out. Well, I cut it off long enough to put the rooms out and then cranked it back up. And, uh, and like I said, we're gonna clean it up and everything on the inside. That's really the only thing we gotta do to it. Everything works. Everything I've touched works, guys. They drove this thing in about 700 miles. In fact, my driver, Ken, who's one of my older drivers, who's been with us for a while, He's having a fit for it, but he just got too many projects going on right now, but he's wanting to buy it because it drove so good and for the price. But, uh, you know, he's not going to. I, I, mean, I, wish, I, I wish he could, but, but you know, this is just one of those deals that this is what my subscribers subscribe to my channel for, deals just like this, guys. This is why y'all do it. This is why y'all come here from all over the country to buy from Parkway RV Center because... Any other dealer, this thing would be $10,000 more and they probably wouldn't even have it or wouldn't even bother to advertise it. Here, do it all, guys. $29.9, no smoke or pet odors. Carpets look decent. Like I said, we'll get them clean. They'll probably come a lot better. I mean, you got a couple of little spots, mostly from where the slide out's been stored, stored in for a long time. The only fault I can say about it, it's got an ABS light. It's 18 years old. Guys, about half of them out here got that on, so don't worry about that. Um, that's just part of it. I mean, it's 18 years old. You got to expect some kind of light, right? You look at 18-year-old used car, most of them have lights on. A lot of times, ABS sensors can be taken off, clean, put back, installed, and they work fine. It's just where they sit for long periods of time between use that makes them go off. You don't see it that often with a... Or of course, you mostly see that in the Fords, but guys, I'll be honest with you, the light's been on in my motor home since I bought it a year ago. It ain't, I may have had new brakes put on it, but that didn't really, that didn't really phase it. And we just drove this thing several hundred miles, didn't phase my driver. Probably been on for years. Don't think it's gonna stop anybody. Backup camera looks great, by the way. I, I know and people make comments before on on this camera it looks like it, it's it's mostly a black picture but that's because there's a different refresh rate between that crt monitor and this gopro hd camera so it make it look like it's not working but in real life you got a good clear picture uh cd stereo little cell phone holder does have the coach heater and this has actually got a co winnebago's got a patent on that because winnebago engineers realized a long time ago that all that heat coming from that motor, most of it's wasted except a little bit that goes up in your cab for heat. So what they did, they designed that coach heater system to actually trap most of that heat and it will actually heat the rear bedroom without running the furnace going down the road. And it also goes through your water heater so you get a free tank of hot water without running gas or electric. On top of that, it's just just one of the little mini innovations that Winnebago does. To that's why they're the that's why they're been around so long, guys. That's why this name used, especially you know, several years ago. You know, when you told people you drove a Winnebago, everybody knew that meant a Class A. It doesn't mean you drive the brand Winnebago, but that just means you have a Class A. It's kind of like here in the South, you you go out to eat and you you want a Coke to drink. It could be Coke, Pepsi, RC Cola, whatever, but coke means the same thing regardless of the brand i mean it's just one of those names just synonymous with rvs with class a motorhomes is the winnebago does have the hwh hydraulic leveling jacks does have tilt crews um heated power mirrors comfortable front captain chairs that swivel for party seating got the original tv so everything fits perfectly this was actually, if I remember what they told me, was a new RV trade-in. You got a VCR and a DVD player in there. You got a small inverter, which is mostly just for running your TV. 
and uh, yep got the this is probably about the first year this sofa came out so this is a power sofa this is a rest easy sofa and actually folds out and makes a full queen bed and it also lets out for a day lounger with a foot rest or it folds down all the way flat three different levels and makes a queen bed you got another chair right here another recliner this everything in here looks original you've got a booth dinette that makes a full-size bed you got a month's worth of books and manuals in there there's not much service records there's a few in there but mostly from when it was just a one or two years old like i said nobody keeps records anymore i i don't get it i do in mine but you know that's just uh some people are different but most people don't corian countertops looks great looks like it's missing one cover but you know guys and i like to point out this little stuff because no no rv is perfect this thing could be one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for an 04 and it still wouldn't be perfect no amount of money can make a used rv perfect or brand new ever again so but you look at what you're paying compared to what this cost new back in 04 to what the equivalent of this cost now in 2022 I mean, you're saving well into the six figures, guys. I don't know about you, but I can uh, I can live with little, a lot of little things for that kind of savings. A lot more than what this thing's got on it, as far as what what I can see, as far as what I would consider flaws. But let's see, three burner stovetop, 18 years old, doesn't look like it's been cooked on more than a couple of times microwave convection oven an actual propane oven and uh, i do like the hardwood floors in here you have a remember that guys this is just how it came in huh, dixie cup with a uh, baking soda <laughs> hey it works refrigerator this is a this looks like a 84 yep 84 21 that's a little over eight cubic foot almost eight and a half cubic feet refrigerator freezer it is getting cold back here so yes i can verify that this is fine so guys technically this thing's once it's been cleaned up is ready to once you come in pay for it you can take it home with you that same day there's no need to run it through the shop because i've already checked it does have a 10 gallon gas electric water heater well i've checked it as far as the stuff that we guarantee you know for those of you who don't know to keep our prices as low as we do we only guarantee the following systems for that price is uh we guarantee the slide outs to work guarantee the generator to run and put out we guarantee the refrigerator freezer to get cold we guarantee uh roof air conditioners to get cold steps to work and that it goes down the road shifts like it's supposed to we drove it we drove it several hundred miles obviously it's fine um so it's it's ready to go i'm gonna put a check mark on the door when i leave here with a marking pen just so everybody knows you don't have to let wait for this one to go through service it's good 843 hours on the generator running right now got all your tank levels um really cool how they do these and it does have a solar charger when lit of course you know back in 04 i think they only put like a five watt solar panel and those solar panels don't last forever so I, i'm gonna assume that probably doesn't work that solar pa panel probably hadn't worked in 15 years or or so so i'm worried about that you got tank uh the tank sensors on the winnebago's i have a patent on this or on the outside of the tank not the inside so you, so you do not get false readings like you do with the tanks sensors on the inside where stuff gets stuck on them and your black water tank shows it to be full when it's really not uh you do like i said it does have the uh the front air does have electric heat pump it's got a furnace and two roof acs this is your washer and dryer and it's kind of in a weird spot but that's where it's supposed to go and i didn't even realize that was there till i started looking around and i opened this right here up and i seen the washer and dryer uh plumbing hookups i'm like what in the world and 
happen to look down and see it right there. I probably would have walked right past that and not even notice it if I hadn't seen it open that little compartment. Um, I do like the way the hallway kind of goes to the side because it gives you a little bit of visual privacy in the bedroom. And you do have a sliding solid door for to close off the bedroom. And you've got a fully enclosed bathroom. And this is a big bathroom, guys. I mean, plenty of room in here to get ready. You've got the upgrade Sealand toilet, which is a porcelain RV toilet. Vanity area is nice. Um, these darn doors are hard to open, which uh, that's the way they're supposed to be, so they don't come open uh, when you're driving down the road and shatter. Uh, you do have a little fold-up seat right here, which you can take that, pull that up. Skylight looks good. Um, like I said, it's fiberglass roof. You got no worries about there. It's not even really that bad bleached yellow from the sun. A little mirror right here. Not really a storage area, but I guess you can set some stuff here. Guess I could turn the ceiling light on. <laughs> Every, and that's another thing, guys. Every light in this thing works. No burnout bulbs. Everything. So, obviously, somebody's taking care of this. Got the original queen-size mattress in it. Uh, this is actually the original mattress from 2004. And I'm sure that's something you probably want to change. Um, which, good thing about, a lot of people don't know this about Winnebago's. They use a 60 by 80 residential queen mattress. So, you know, go to your favorite mattress store, just get you a queen mattress, what other brand you want to buy. You know, what I recommend doing, and this is what um, I've always done with mine, I like a particular kind of mattress, a particular brand and series. And what I'll do is I'll buy one for my RV as well as the one in my home. And um, even if I have to special order, say it's like a camper queen where it's four or five inches shorter, you know, a lot of these mattress places, you can still special order mattresses in a, in a custom size. Cost you a little bit more, but it makes a big difference because, and y'all know how it is, you're used to your bed at home and then you go to a hotel room or go into an RV that you're only sleeping a few nights a year and it takes you a little while to get used to the mattress I've learned a long time ago, if you put the same mattress in your RV as you do in your home, that transition period is a lot easier to get past. Um, in other words, have the same brand and series mattress in your bed as you do in your RV and same type of mattress. If you've got memory foam and a certain, buy that same thing in a, in a RV mattress if you can. You'll, uh, it'll make it easier to adjust to the bed. Uh, original television in here as well. That's a little desk area, makeup, get ready area. I guess you could put you a chair here, sit on the edge of the bed. Lighted closets. Everything looks good in there. You know, big closet. I mean, everything about this coach to be a 2004 is extremely nice. Now, is it nice if this was... Would this be considered excellent condition if it was like a 2019 or 2020 model? No, of course not. But for an 18 year old motorhome, with the equipment, the amenities, the build quality of this Winnebago Brave for 30 grand or 29.9, yeah, it's a heck of a deal. Um, I highly suggest anybody interested in this one, if you have to travel any distance at all, any significant distance, I would leave a deposit on it because um, you really can't go wrong with it. I mean, I don't see how everything works. I'm gonna put a check mark on the door so you know that's ready to go. Besides a cleanup. Uh, let us know what you think, guys. If you want this coach, call right now, 706-965-7929. Well, won't be able to call right now. The time I get this video edited and published, it'll be after 6 o'clock. But call first thing in the morning at 9 a.m. sharp, Eastern Time. Don't don't call before because our phone systems don't turn on until 9 o'clock. You call before that, you're going to talk to an answering service. 
And if you leave them a message, it might be lunchtime or better before you get a uh, call back from one of my guys. And by then, somebody else probably left a deposit on it or bought it. You know, motorhomes in this price range, guys, are few and far between. I'm probably one of the only RV dealers that actually regularly gets motorhomes in the under 30 grand price range that are still in good shape. You'll see some at other dealerships sometimes that are on their last leg, 100,000 miles and junk, you know, ceiling falling and all that. But guys, 29.9 for a 25,000 mile motor Winnebago motorhome, wow. Um, but, you know, that's why you subscribe to my channel. And speaking of that, hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. Uh, show me some love. Smash me a thumbs up, hit the you know the like button. Feel free to comment, share on social media. If you're on Facebook, like my page. RV's a big bow. If you don't care, you can actually message me through there. And um, let me know what you think about this motorhome, guys. We offer nationwide delivery. It's a dollar fifty a loaded mile. One way we don't charge for the return trip is twenty nine nine haggle free, firm plus applicable sales tax. We have no dealer fees no dock fees no processing fees no prep fees no uh destination fees no happy camper fees whatever fees you want to call it guys we don't have it all those fees are 100 percent dealer profit just a way for the dealership to advertise a lower price but sell it for more we have uh, well you know guys i'm i don't know about an 04 on financing honestly it could, it, it may be financeable through one of my banks. It might not be. So check with your bank or credit union, see what kind of loan you can get through them. Call one of my salespeople and ask them what, if, if it's even available, if we even have financing available on this older, this older of a coach at 706-965-7929. I'd rather let them answer the finance questions. They're more up to date with the terms, the rates, and which which units qualify and which ones don't because it changes every week almost. <clears throat> and, you know, you can rest assured if you do go through our finance department, we don't mark the interest rates up. Other dealers mark the rate up 1% or 2%. We don't. Whatever the bank approves you for, what you'll pay here. You know, we don't, you don't have to worry about being overcharged by financing here. And check with your bank or credit union too because a lot of times – it's easier to go it's it's better to go through them than go through our lender lenders but uh like i said if you got questions about that give us a call we take trade-ins if you got a trade-in give us a call 706-965-7929 again guys this unit's 29.9 plus applicable sales tax of course georgia residents y'all know you got to pay your highway impact fee and your tag and title fee if you buy from a Georgia dealer or for sale by owner in Georgia. Same thing. Tag and title is 40 50 bucks, something like that. And your highway impact fee is $100 on something like this. So, And I have to charge you that. That's a law. But that doesn't apply if you're out of state. If you're not from Georgia, don't worry about that. And you never pay... And never, and I don't know where people get this information from, you never pay sales tax twice. Never. You pay one state sales tax. If you come from out of state to another state, um, in our situation here, if you're from out of state, you, and of course every state's different, but in our state, you never pay Georgia sales tax if you live out of state and your driver's license is out of state and you register it in that same address as on your driver's license. If it's out of state, you pay your state sales tax rate when you tag and title it at your local DMV office. Now, if you finance it, guys, that's if you pay cash. If you finance it, some lenders require us to collect your estimated sales tax for your state, and you would be responsible for any difference. Or if we overcollected, we would be responsible for sending you a check for the difference on what we overcharged you. So you're never going to pay more than you have to for sales tax. Uh, and we'll refund you the difference between what your sales tax was over what we charged you when that happens. But you are also responsible for if we don't collect enough. So keep that in mind. Because um, everything's kind of sketchy on the internet about what state charges what amount. But um, anyway, you never pay sales tax twice. No matter, any, under any circumstances, would you ever do that? 
here anyway buying from us but guys thank y'all so much for watching um wow i love it guys i'll try to do that cruise master tomorrow the next day saturday is kind of we got a lot of appointments tomorrow a lot of people picking up i don't know if i'll be able to shoot much tomorrow i'll try to uh maybe do one at the best but we got a lot of big plans for tomorrow here so anyway guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and um call right now or call nine o'clock in the morning if you want to buy it we're open tomorrow nine to five and um come out and take a look at it of course guys you know when i say we only guarantee those major systems to work um anything else you're you're responsible for doing your due diligence and inspecting anything else on it that's all we guarantee for the price we charge that's how we keep our prices low so i have checked the refrigerator i've checked slide outs i've checked the roof airs generator motorhome runs good steps work it's ready to go i'm gonna get somebody here to clean it up when i get somebody freed up but other than that it, it needs nothing as far as what we guarantee does that mean that we check everything else no it's you'll have to come into your own inspection if you don't feel comfortable doing that you're welcome to hire a third party inspector or take a chance take it like it is guys no dealer puts any kind of guarantee on a 2004 motorhome but we still guarantee at time of sale for all your major stuff to work your slides your refrigerator freezer air conditioners and your uh, generator and steps we do guarantee those to work at time of sale. And if, if for some reason it, they're working right now, and for some reason when you pick it up it doesn't, we'll fix it. And so it, it works before you take it. So anyway, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, any questions, call one of my salespeople at 706-965-7929. If you want to buy it give them a call if you want to come look at it and want to leave a deposit give them a call keep in mind we cannot hold this thing without money under any circumstances um especially something this price range y'all remember that bounder i did uh i don't know a week ago or two weeks ago with a hundred thousand miles but it was the same price as this people are still calling on that wanting to buy it and we've sold we could have sold 20 of those if i had them and I think this is going to be something similar, guys. And, and you know, it's this is a Winnebago, a fiberglass roof. So, you know, an older coach, you got a lot less worries on fiberglass than you do a uh, a rubber roof. And, yeah, you can see that headliner looks good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I'll shut up now, but come on down, take a look, and uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.